Stocking up on gear, unraveling English phrases. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're going to explore the phrase, stock up on gear. It's a phrase you might hear in everyday conversations, especially when people are preparing for a big event or undertaking. If you're ready to expand your English vocabulary and understanding, let's dive in. Stock up on gear is an interesting phrase that combines two important elements, stock up and gear. Let's break them down, stock up. This part of the phrase means to gather or accumulate a large quantity of something. It usually implies preparation for future use. Gear, in this context, gear refers to the necessary equipment or supplies needed for a particular activity. So, when someone says they're going to stock up on gear, they mean they are planning to gather all the necessary equipment they need. This phrase can be used in various contexts. Here are a few examples. 1. Outdoor activities. Before our camping trip, we need to stock up on gear like tents and sleeping bags. 2. Sports. The soccer team is stocking up on gear for the upcoming season. 3. Emergency preparedness. With the hurricane season approaching, it's important to stock up on gear like batteries and flashlights. Understanding the context is key to grasping the full meaning of the phrase. When learning this phrase, be careful not to confuse stock up on gear with simply buying one or two items. It specifically implies preparing a substantial amount or variety of items. Also, remember that gear is a broad term and can refer to different things depending on the situation. Now, let's practice. Try using the phrase in a sentence related to an activity you enjoy. For example, I need to stock up on gear for my photography hobby, like new lenses and tripods. We hope this video has helped you understand the phrase, stock up on gear. Remember, learning a language is all about understanding the nuances of phrases and how they're used in everyday life. Keep practicing, and don't forget to stock up on new words and phrases for your English vocabulary. See you in the next video.